Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 16 of solving SQL challenges playlist. And in this video, we will discuss a problem on identifying departments with at least two students enrolled in physics and chemistry. Okay, so here we have department table given in which there are three columns, department ID, student ID and their favorite subject in which they have enrolled. And here we have multiple department ID and inside each department, the information about the student who have enrolled in different subject are given. Okay. So by using this data, we have to find out for which department at least two students have enrolled in physics and chemistry. So if we observe this input data, we will find that department ID 1 and department ID 3 have at least two students who got enrolled in physics and chemistry. Okay. So how we are achieving this output? Let us discuss that one logically as well as by implementing SQL query. So for that, let me switch to SSMS. Okay. So here we already have department table given. So let me select it first. So this is the exact data what is given in our slide. So if you observe this input data for department ID one, you will see that student ID 101 has these two subject physics and chemistry and also student ID 102 has got these two subject enrolled. Okay. So in this department, we have at least two student ID enrolled in physics and chemistry. So this department ID one will come in output data. Similarly, if you check for department ID two and uh, parallelly, if you observe student ID, then uh, this student ID has only one subject. So we will not consider this now for student ID one, one, two. Yes, this satisfies the condition enrolled subject are physics and chemistry for one, one, two. So we will consider this student ID. And similarly, we can check for 113 again, only one subject and 114 again, only one subject. So this department ID has only got one student ID with these two subject. So we will not consider this department ID. Now, again, if you check for department ID three, you will get to know that this student ID and this student ID enrolled in physics and chemistry. So for this department ID, we have got two student. So this department ID will also come in output. So in total, if we see department ID one and department ID three will satisfy the condition. And uh, that is what you will observe here in output department ID one and three. Okay. So now let us discuss how we can achieve this. So first what we will do from this whole data, we will filter out subject with physics and chemistry only. Okay. So in that way we can filter this total data and we can get only those department and student with subject physics and chemistry. And uh, then we can perform our logic to get the output. Okay. First we will filter out. So let us write SQL query till this logic and uh, then we will discuss about next one. Okay. So here we will write where where favorite subject in now I want to filter physics and chemistry, right? Physics comma chemistry. So we will only keep those data having favorite subject in physics and chemistry. So let me run it. Okay. Now next step should be for every department and student ID. We have to find out count of subject. So to fulfill the condition count should be two because subject should consist of physics and chemistry. Right? So in order to count subject for every user inside each department, what we will do, we will write department ID. Then we want 
student id then we want count of this column we want to count number of subject right and uh, since we are using aggregate function so non aggregated columns should be in group by correct and this part will ensure that we are counting this subject for every student id inside every department okay so let me run it let me name this column as subject count okay here inside count we will write distinct so it will count distinct subject now observe this data carefully inside department id 1 we have two student id with subject count 2 that means this department has fulfilled the condition now for department id 2 we have only one student id with subject count 2 correct but our requirement is we have to get those department id with at least two student enrolled in physics and chemistry right so here we are getting only one student so that's why this department should not come in output now for department id 3 again we have got two student with subject count as 2 that means this particular department will also fulfill the condition okay so we should get this department and this department that is 1 and 3 in output we need to remove this one and how we can remove this one we can filter out those student id with subject count equal to 1 so here we can directly write having we want to filter out this count and we want only count greater than 1 here right so greater than 1 now let us execute this one see we have filtered those student with subject count equals 1 now we have to write a logic which will find us at least two student with subject count equals 2 okay so i'll write select i'll copy this one department i want department right and uh, then i want to count i want to count this column right from what is our source of data this one right so we will name this sub query as a now again we are performing aggregate function so non aggregated column should be in group by correct so i'll write group by a dot department id and uh, i'll name this column as student count okay now let me run it and see what data we are getting see for department id 1 we have two student enrolled in these two subject for department id 2 we have only one student enrolled in these two subject and for department id 3 we have again two student so again we have to filter out those department with student count equal to 1 okay so what we will do we can use having this part that is count of student id we only want student id count greater than 1 okay see we got the filtered data and these are the exact department what we need in our output okay now i only need department id so i'll remove this part let me run it we got this one so this is the exact query what we have used in order to achieve required output okay Okay guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this content then uh, please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video update we will meet in our next video with a new challenge so please stay tuned till then take care and goodbye